In this spreadsheet, this will create and populate the monthly profit and loss along with an automatic calculation of your COGS. So provided you enter all of your COGS data into product data sheet, um, you, in this section, enter it into the yellow boxes. So you can add the product information, so the cost of the product, um, whether anything extra was included for the packaging, shipping, etc. And the final total cost is going to be the sum and it's in column K. So this is what's important. So as long as there's a value here, um, in the actual profit and loss, where it's going to show up is we created it so that it's automatically going to get it for, say, 2021 and calculate based on the total number of units sold over 2021 for all the COGS um, that were existing. And it's going to give you and pull out this number on a per month basis. So rather than trying to manually figure out um, how much your COGS was for the SKUs in say 2021 May, it's now going to automatically assign it because it pulls in all of the SKU information. So for 2021 05, um, it's going to say that, okay, uh, give you a breakdown of all the number of units sold per SKU like this. And then use this data to create your COGS up here, which then feeds into your profit and loss. So this is um, the new and upgraded version that is included in the Pro Spreadsheet Package for Gorilla ROI. Refer to the instructions because it gives you an explanation of what the color coding means, the legend. So the orange tabs uh, represent data coming directly from Amazon Seller Central into Google Sheets. And the purple tabs is where you will um, need to enter some additional information to make things dynamic. So just like the product um, cogs as I showed you. The product data, it's going to use our functions profit and loss. Now, since this is a demo sheet, um, it loads all the, it has all the data um, already loaded for you, and this is on a month to month basis. The Amazon income, so if you want to look at the other um, pieces of data points, you know, I, we categorized Amazon income as the sum of the total um, line items up to tax. So everything here, everything below here now is considered Amazon expense. Brings in the COGS automatically and then it will give, give you your gross profit. In addition, if there is any other type of COGS that you want to include up here. So let's say you did like you forgot some COGS of something and the cost was minus. 100,000, right? Um, you can enter it and be as detailed as you want, or you can just delete it. So when I entered it here, you notice that this updated. So if I delete it and then you'll notice that this changed. Now, if I undo, you'll notice that the gross profit will now calculate that because that's it, in, it, it includes it in the gross profit calculation. On the operating expenses side, same thing. You can be as detailed or as broad as you want. So if you want to include things like your warehousing costs, electricity, um, other operational expenses, labor. Um, we've also added PPC here as well because we, Gorilla ROI, does not support pulling in advertising data into Google Sheets. So this must be done manually. We do not um, have a way to automate it. So PPC ad spend you can enter here. If you do Facebook, Google, or other type of ad spends, you can also enter it here, and that will give you your operating profit. Um, so this is the new and updated version. So check it out. It's under the Pro Spreadsheet Package, um, and refer to the documentation because it has all the examples. And just by going through the formulas directly on this spreadsheet, you'll be able to figure out how it works.